Look at how gross this is. Yeah, we, we totally want to get rid of that. So that's what this video is about. I'm Kat, this is 10 minutes long, and today you are witnessing me removing what is probably 10 years worth of crap from the top of my kitchen cupboards. So I noticed um, the other day that there's just a lot of crap up here and it's really dirty and dusty. So I kind of just wanted to get rid of it really. Um, obviously I don't really want dust hanging around and um, my husband's kind of got like a dust allergy so it's good to just get rid of it especially when it's this disgusting. So this is the first time I've seen on top of this cupboard. You just saw me remove what was a large tile from up there that I didn't know we had. Um, so that matches the bathroom tiles, which is quite interesting. So at least I've got a spare bathroom tile. Um, these things that I'm picking up here are razor blades, which were just left randomly on top of the cupboard. Because why would you leave razor blades on top of a cupboard? Yeah. Anyway. Um, so you can see there that I was just kind of like scraping a little bit off just to kind of see like how mired in is this dust because it looks pretty grim uh, and it feels really sticky because obviously it's a kitchen. <clears throat> so quite often with kitchens, the it gets dusty, which is like normal, but it, you also get this like layer of grease as well from cooking and things like that. So I was just kind of giving it a bit of a test. So you can see there I've just taken everything off the top and that's just left me with this kind of like gross, um, gross, I don't know, dust monster. So I've gone and got my hob scraper. I love my hob scraper. I've used it for everything, even covered this in a video, um, which you'll probably see or have seen. I don't know which order these videos are going out in. You will see how much I love this hob scraper. Um, it's great, it's just angled perfectly to allow you to use a blade um, without really scratching too much up. So um, what I'm doing there is just scraping off all the dust into a little pile. It's very satisfying, I will say, very satisfying um, to be getting all that dust off. But it is gross, like the video doesn't do it justice. Like when you're actually up there, you're just like, no, this is disgusting. Um, so yeah, I actually tried with a wipe first, like an antibacterial wipe. You can see me doing that there and it's just not getting anything up at all. Um, just because the layer underneath is really grim. Even when it was just dusty, that antibacterial wipe wasn't doing anything at all. Uh, I'm just scraping actually along the top of the cupboard doors because that those are gross as well. Um, unfortunately, it, it wasn't a great camera angle, I've got to be honest. Um, but it's pretty hard to get a good camera angle when you are essentially stood on a stepladder. Like, I can't describe how tall these cupboards are, but they're taller than me, way taller than me. So I was on a stepladder for the whole time. Um, <clears throat> so it was quite hard to get a good angle where you could see everything. And what I was doing, it was just, there was nowhere to, to mount the camera that it, where it worked. But you can see there, like, it's just, it's being scraped off. Like, the, the dirt is being scraped off. It's pretty disgusting as it goes. Um, so, yeah, it did feel pretty satisfying. I needed to do it because it, I knew it was there and it was bothering me and I just hadn't had time. Um, this video was actually about 7 a.m. There was just, like, one morning when I got up really early Um and I've, I've got up early after a really bad night and I felt shocky and I felt really horrible. Knew I was going to have to, like, you know, do a full day in work as well, um, which was going to be taxing on my brain. Um, so I just thought I'm just going to do something manual that doesn't require my brain and something that will be ultimately satisfying and feel good. So this is what I settled on. You can see there that I'm going back over it and scraping it again. Um... And that's just to remove like the the um, grim, greasy layer. Uh, and you can see that that's all coming up pretty well. But you can see there's a pile of just grimness on top of the cupboard that now needs to be removed. So um, it actually was quicker than I thought it would be like to get this crap up. Like because it was so sticky to begin with, I thought it was going to take ages. But you can see there that the first, like, scraping it off was, I think, a good idea. 
you can see that the difference on the right hand side to the left like I hadn't scraped it all off the left yet so you can just see but even so still on the right hand side it's still pretty grim um but yeah it was faster than I thought and it did feel good you can see there how it's all just coming off of like a good scrape but it did have to be like quite a good <laughs> scrape like I can't I can't even imagine how I don't know I was gonna say I can't imagine how you'd let how you'd let it get to that point but like everything in this house seems to be like that and like I've got to say I'm not one of those people that is like I will clean the top of my kitchen cupboards once a week because who's got time for that like seriously but like maybe every six months or maybe every year or so I would do it um when I was in the flat before this I used to clean the top of the cupboards maybe once a year I have this like I have two when I'm cleaning I have like two lists I have the things that I do every week and that is a list on its own that I complete and then I have a list which I used to call hero jobs for absolutely no reason at all other than that's what I called them when I was scheduling them in and hero jobs were stuff that I didn't need doing every week but just needed doing at some point during the year things like you know cleaning out the tumble dryer filter cleaning the tops of the kitchen cupboards you know cleaning I don't know Skirting boards is a bad example because I used to do that like every month. But cleaning behind radiators, I don't know, like things that need doing at some point, but not every, you know, every week. Those are my hero jobs and I used to fit them in like on a Friday. I used to do most of my housework and then fit them in on Friday. Uh, so here um, I decided to use this cleaner called Grease Away. And you can tell by my face and the fact that I slowed the video down that I was dead impressed with it. Um, I've used this cleaner before for various stuff, but like I honestly, you can't quite see how dirty it is up there. The, like I say, the camera doesn't do it justice, but this cleaner literally just melted. Like it was, it was kind of like fattiness that was left. You can see how gross that um, that rag is, but like that grease away stuff, it literally just melted it. I sprayed it on there and just like cleaned it straight off it just absolutely melted to the crap that was left and you can see just how nice and smooth and shiny it is and you could also see the green paint there um because the kitchen used to be lime green um, which is an interesting and bold choice uh, for a kitchen uh, and they've painted over it with like the worst paint it's just like if you if you get the wall wet at all with anything uh, the paint just comes away so after doing that cupboard, I was like, well, that didn't take as long as I thought. Let's do another one. So this is a smaller cupboard. You can see there that there's like shapes on it from where they used to keep stuff up there. I mean, that's the other thing. Like if you're keeping stuff on top of the cupboard, surely you'd want to keep it clean. Like how gross must that stuff have been that you were keeping up there? It's grim. Uh, and like, you, you know, you're talking years worth of dirt here. Like this isn't just like a few months. You're talking years worth. Like... Like I say, I used to clean my cupboards like once a year and it got a bit gross up there, but nothing like this. Um, anyway, so I just repeated the process over here. Um, scraped it all off carefully. If you do use a scraper for something like this, just be careful with it. Just make sure you're not scratching the surface. Um, just keep it nice and flat and at a 45-ish degree angle. Um and you can see there again, it's just so satisfying <laughs> scraping across and being like, yes, the dirt is gone now. Uh, and so that is what I did with my morning before I went to work when I was feeling a bit rubbishy. Just scraped it all off. Um, the thing was, they did did drop some dirt and dust and crap on the um, on the work surfaces, which was a bit annoying. Um, so be prepared for that if you decide to do something like this for yourself. It will it will mean that dirt and dust go everywhere underneath the cupboards that you're cleaning as well. So you should prepare for that. Uh, but yeah, um, other than that, would recommend cleaning the tops of your cupboards about every year or so, something like that. Um, and yeah, Grease Away by HG. Like, I, I've got to say, I've used a few of their cleaning products and I'm generally, like, pretty impressed with them. They do tend to be slightly more expensive, but so far I've seen that it's worth it. Um, 
I, I don't believe that you need a lot of different cleaning products to do different things, but there are certain things where you do like, like, you know, your oven and things like that, that do get greasy. You do need like a, you know, more powerful cleaner. And I've used HG oven cleaner every week on my oven and that's worked really well. And the grease away is great for getting grease off walls and cupboards and stuff. So yeah, there you go. There is clean kitchen cupboards. Hope you enjoyed it.